Hello there guys and welcome back to the FIFA 22 Everton career mode and today we've got episode 12. And okay then, in the last episode we went out and made a massive signing guys. Went ahead and put Richarlison at striker which then we need a left winger. So went out and signed Rafinha, got him in from Leeds, around about 60 to 70 million we paid. And he's already started to pay off that transfer fee. We also played a couple of games in the Premier League as well. You guys can see now three games into the new season, three wins, zero losses on nine points. Level Man City, so again, really good start to the season. But now then, coming up in today's episode, of course, last season we finished in third place. We've got Champions League football in our group. We've got Leipzig, and we're taking them on in today's episode. Our first game of the group. Let's hope we get off to a good start. We do also then have a couple of days left in the transfer window right now. We are looking to bring in one more player. Definitely a midfielder. We've already got our eyes on one player. You guys all know who it is. So yeah, 145 mil. Let's get this midfielder brought in. See how much we've got left after that. And then we know where we stand on any more signings. But okay then, before we go any further into today's episode, if you guys are looking forward to it, please don't forget to drop me a like down below in the video. And also, if you're new here, you want to see more videos like this every single day, I do post a current mode video. Hit the red subscribe button down below. It's completely free. You can always go back and change your mind. Now let's go ahead then and get to your guys' comments from the previous episode and into the first one here which says, in my opinion, you need an attacking midfielder who has an ability to give assists, for example, Meza Ozil. And you know what? Funny, funny you should mention Ozil. We did have a look at the free agents and I'm going to have another look at the free agents in today's episode and just see if I can pick up someone like a Coutinho, like a Meza Ozil on a free agent, which should be amazing for us. At the moment, we've got Deli Alli playing there. He isn't doing a bad job. I just don't think he'll get better than 81. Obviously, we've got Gordon who are training to go into that position, but his passing right now and his shooting isn't the best. So yeah, again, we could do with someone a bit more experienced in that position that can give us that quality off the bench. Now to the next comment then, which says Conor Gallagher is the perfect box-to-box -box midfielder, and that is exactly why we're going to go ahead and sign him, guys. Again, I mentioned, I think, since Season 1, halfway through Season 1, that I want to sign him, and today's episode is the day we're going to sign him. 8 rated, back at Chelsea now, 91 stamina, by the way, which again proves why he'll be so good as a box-to-box -box midfielder. So again, shouldn't cost us too much money, and I can't wait to bring him in. Now to our final comment then for today's episode, which says, from my opinion, put Rafinha in right wing and Harrison in the left wing and I completely forgot guys but Rafinha is left footy so it makes sense and I like cutting in with my wingers so I'm going to go ahead swap them over Harrison is left footy but he's got a five star weak foot so that won't really matter let's change them over and then hopefully then cutting inside should be good on either wing so yeah then guys having a quick look down the free agents going all the way down to the bottom back up to the top again and no one's sort of standing out to me at the moment you guys can see the sort of quality that's on here at the moment Nothing, nothing really that we could sign and get into the first team, I'm going to be honest. I had a quick look at the centre forwards. Yeah, I think there's like six of them. Again, Ravel Morrison would be a bad signing, but would he get into the first team? No. Would I bring him off the bench instead of Gordon? Probably not. I'd rather just develop Gordon that way. So yeah, again, to be honest, not really much on here. But here we go then, let's get into the main talking point in today's episode. Connor Gallagher, we mentioned last season. Again, I've gone on it for too many episodes now. Let's just get him brought in. Let's get him onto the bench because we're going to get him onto the bench. So we're going to get him starting some games. Going to rotate him and Van der Beek together. I, I reckon he might be able to play CDM. Oh, no, okay. Defensive awareness 60. So definitely more of a midfielder than a CDM slash defender. But again, I think him, Dele Alli can rotate. Dele Alli. Him and Van der Beek can rotate together in our midfield. Already comes with the long shot taker trait as well, which is pretty good. Some more goals from midfield would be nice. So let's get into this. Between 26 and 36 of uh, Atletico Bilbao, I'll say Sevilla then. Atletico Bilbao already had an offer rejected. Hopefully ours doesn't. And now this then is going to be our final play that we're going to sign from Chelsea. Because we've already signed Rodiger and we've also signed Chalaber from Chelsea. Now I don't want to sign a whole starting 11 from Chelsea. This is going to be our final player from them. And let's have a see. Again, it did say between 26 and 36. I'm going to go with 27 and a half and just start it there and just see where Tuchel takes it from there. I'd be surprised if he lets him go. In real life, they would never let him go between... Wow, okay. Wow. Um, okay, they must really not want him in the team. I'm surprised that first offer got accepted. I feel like we could have offered maybe a little bit lower, but uh, I don't mind. I don't mind. 27 and a half for Conor Gallagher in midfield. I'll take that all day long. And the fact that Atletico Bilbao got their offer rejected... How low was the offering? How low? Straight away here, he's accepting rotation, which is perfect. Really, really perfect. I think in real life, he was to make the move. Would he be happy sitting on the bench at Everton and getting rotated game time? Maybe. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. He seems quite happy. He's playing really well at Palace. Let's try and get him on a five-year deal here. Rotation, five years. 81,000. He's on disregard of his clause. Now into the wage. Let's give him... I don't want to give him 100k because he's going to be on the bench quite a lot. Obviously, he's going to get some game time. Let's just match the wage from Chelsea, actually. Just match that 81. Give him 150k signing on. And there we go. Let's submit the offer. Let's see. 
81 files, 150k, and rotation for five years, 22. There we go. That's probably the easiest deal I've ever done for a player in career mode. And there it is then, guys. Our new signing into the team. Our final signing for the summer transfer window. And again, we're going to look at how much we got left in the transfer budget. Looking at that right now, which is still over 100 million, which is absolutely amazing. And that way then, comes to January, if we need to make a new signing or two, we've got the money for it. And of course, then, let's get a development plan on him straight away. Let's just double check. Rafinha, have I got one on him? And okay, yeah, left winger. Left winger, makes sense. Makes sense. We could get him to a right winger after that. Uh, but Conor Gallagher, let's get him on a development plan right now. Box to box. Again, that's what we're going to be using him as. That's what we're going to be playing as. And that will also increase that attacking work rate. So that's perfect for us. Hopefully, it'll grow. And yeah, all round looking good. Yeah, and as you guys can see, then we've still got over 100 million in the transfer budget right now. 108 million to be exact. Over 100k in the wage. Perfect. At least now as well, we've got some money to renew some contracts. Because I think next episode, renewing Richarlison's contract is going to be key. And I think mean, agree a new deal with him. That'll be amazing. And okay, then just come to my attention right now, Richarlison has completed his development plan from strike to left wing. However, we're not looking to play him left wing anymore. But I'm hoping maybe if I convert him, he'll go up. And when you get him back to a striker. Um, let's do a seat right now. Let's convert him. Stay he's 86. Okay. Okay. He stays 86. That's fine. I guess it'll have to be fine. Let's get him back to a striker right now. Or what do you guys reckon? Centre forward? Do we convert him to a centre forward? Then back to a striker? Because obviously originally I, I want him back to a striker eventually. But centre forward could increase that overall maybe. Only going to take two weeks. Will it do anything? Um, I don't know. Let's, let's, let's get him back to striker. And so two more emails then. We got one, an offer for Yerimina from Roma for 23.5 million. Quite a lot. Definitely a lot, well, I'd say a lot more, but more than my United were offering. Let's go ahead and accept this again. I was happy for Yerimina to leave. I just didn't want him to leave to a team in the Premier League. Um, Nathan Broadhead still waiting for him to go. Pickford and offering from Inter rejected that. Now Townsend, on the other hand, has been sold to Leon. We've got eight and a half added to our budget. Okay, now we're on deadline then. The transfer offers are starting to come in. Damari Gray, an offer from Arsenal. I'm not letting him go. Not letting him go whatsoever. Let's reject that offer. Um, Alan, an offer from PSG. Now, you know what? This wouldn't be a bad offer. But, I'm on deadline day. I'm, I'm, we've got Basuma for the first team. However, if this offer comes in again in January, let's say. Or something like that. Won't be mine, but start the season. Start the season. You guys understand. I can't let him go start the season. He's so important for us. He's still 83 rated, not going down in overall just yet. Decorado, an offer from Juventus. Let's go ahead and accept that so we can get him moved on. And with that then, Yerimina and Decore have been sold. Now, of course, Decore's replacement was Conor Gallagher. And then Yerimina's replacement was Rudiger. So, again, two Chelsea players come in to replace them two. An offer for Dele Alli from United, 30 million. Again, in one way, it's a bit similar to Alan in a way because he's not going to grow any more than 81. I don't think he will. And 30 million, 40 million would be a good price tag. We could bring someone in. But at the same time, we're on deadline day right now. Probably three, four hours left. I could bring someone in, but I'd rather see who you guys want to see. So I'm going to go ahead and reject that offer. Now, I do want to let you guys know then, Armando Broger is a player I'm still keeping my eye on, by the way. Uh, Frank Lampard did a press conference today for Everton. And this, you know, he got brought up in the press conference. Frank Lampard said how he gave him his debut at Chelsea. And he's doing a really good season at Southampton. Now, of course, he is at Chelsea. I did say I didn't want to bring in too many, too many players from Chelsea. But again, next season... If we sell with Charleston and this guy continues to improve and gets around about 80 rated, we might look at signing next season. Or maybe in January. Say we need a backup striker, but Charleston's injured and Makoko isn't doing a good enough job. Again, I'm going to keep my eye on him and just see how he develops. Now, before we get into the first game in today's episode, Rafinha has completed his development plan from right mid to left wing. Let's convert him right now. And by the looks of it, I don't know if it will increase in overall, but we'll try. Let's have a see. Here we go. And no, he stays the same. Okay, let's get him right now on a right wing development plan and just see if we leave him on that. Will he increase? Will he not? Again, we can only but try and just see if that will increase overall. But let's go ahead then and sim our first game in today's episode. We're going to sim this one, take it on Newcastle. Awobi is going to be starting for them in the midfield. Uh, for us, going to go with our strongest on 11. No reason not to. Again, the wingers should have changed over. Again, I, I must have completely forgot to do that. Conor Gallagher, of course, is on the bench. Gordon and Chalibur. I don't know why they're not increasing in sharpness. I really don't know. Let's take a look at the next training session. But here we go. Sim this. Come on, I win at home. I win at home. I win at home. And it ends 2-2. Richardson and Dele Alli with a goal. Chalibur coming on for Godfrey. That's interesting at half time. But uh, okay, I'm surprised we didn't get a win. And okay, then I should have done this before the Newcastle game. But let's get this team sorted out right now. Because of course, I'm just slacking a little bit here. Let's get Rudiger Godfrey together. Godfrey now 82 rated. Virginia, let's get him down here. Let's get Conor Gallagher on the bench. 
yeah, this is this is looking a lot better now. Coleman, let's put him there, just just OCD things. Um, Basuma, Conor Gallagher, Gordon, great. Again, it's looking good. It's looking really good to me. If anything, Basuma, well, we've got a Champions League game coming up, so we're going to leave Alan in the team. But Basuma, ideally, the team would look a little bit like this, like that. And then Alan just coming in for the important games. That way, then he can always be fully rested. Gallagher again, we're rotating Van der Beek. Gordon rotating with Deli Alley and the wingers. Gray coming on for the same same positions. Backup striker. And yeah, apart from that, things looking good. Now quickly, before we get into this first one, let's check Bundesliga and see how Leipzig are doing. Second place, four wins, unbeaten. Okay, we're unbeaten at the top. We've got three wins and a draw. But uh, Leipzig, Bayern haven't got off to the best start, have they? Two wins, two draws. But Leipzig, again, it's going to be difficult this one. I'd say both teams quite evenly matched right now. I'd probably say Leipzig probably just edge it, to be honest, some of the quality in their side. But uh, again, we're just going to go into it now with confidence and just hope we get a win. And here is then how both teams are going to look like going into our first Champions League game in this career mode. I'm really hoping it's a good one. Really hoping. You guys can see our lineup. Pretty much our strongest starting line at 11 right now. Malenko, 82 rated. Starting to come along. Patterson, 72 I wish we could sort of speed that up a little bit. If you guys know any tips, let me know down below. Because, again, I'd like to see him reach 80 before the end of the season. Might be a little bit unrealistic, but I reckon it is doable. Leipzig side, Sabozlai playing centre mid. A little bit interesting, but, again, I reckon he can do it. Jokwese out on the right. Silva, Paulson up front, and Kunku in behind. Yeah, again, it's going to be hard. But the three at the back, we could take advantage of that. We are at home as well, so expecting a win. Let's get into it. And here we are then, our first Champions League night at Everton in this career mode. I'm excited, really excited for this. Hoping again that we get off to a good start. Leipzig again, as we've seen, I've got a very, very strong side. But again, overall, as the group, we should be making it through, no problems. Let's be honest, let's be honest. This team on paper, Richarlison up front, five goals in three games so far for him. Hoping he has another amazing episode for us. We should have no problems getting out of the group. So, let's get into this. Richarlison going to kick off and here we go. Oh, there we go. Patterson with a pressure. Delali. Just got to feed that for Richarlison, never mind. Rafinha, actually. Rafinha, cut, cut inside. Oh, okay. Corner. Okay. Won a corner early on. Not bad. Not bad. Here we go. Um, Let's just get it. Oh, okay. Richarlison went a little bit more towards the keeper. Anyway, the header's there, but... Not on target. Not on target in the end. Alan winning the header. Richarlison trying to play it back to him. Unable to in the end. Danny Olmo will cause us massive problems. Oh, go on. Okay. Okay. There we go, Godfrey, Rudiger, back to Pickford, there we go, just get it clear, and Alan, oh, okay, that's a decent pass, good pass, here we go, Dalali, out to the left, can Harrison maybe just head that one on, okay, never mind, that's a good ball, that's a good ball, Malenko, Chukwese getting ahead of him, no, it's going to be 1-0, it's 1-0, and Nkunku is having an amazing season in real life, and he's had a really good start to this game, 1-0 up, Leipzig go 15 minutes in on the counter, he hits us, and look at this, Malenko just couldn't keep up. Chukwe's a miles ahead of him. And, and Kunku, to be honest, in my opinion, Alan should be man marking him. Alan should be man marking him. Rudiger's the closest player to him. Yeah, again, we got caught out on the counter really bad. Patterson inside, Van der Beek. Richarlison. Alan, okay, interesting ball. What is Deli Ali, but never mind. Um, looking for any sort of run. Richarlison. Not as easy as that. Not as easy. I put the pressure on, and there we go. Richarlison. Richardson 1 0. Surely at least 1 1. What am I on about? 1 0. I wish it was 1 0. 1 1 in this game. We kept the pressure on. Don't know what Leipzig were doing there. Van der Beek, Richardson, and we kept the ball back. And Richardson threw on goal. You see, I don't know what's going on. Like, what is going on there? Richardson just runs on through. Simple finish. That's now six goals. He scored in the Newcastle game. So that's seven. So that's seven in five he's got so far. Again, having an amazing season for us. And there we go. We're back level. Okay, we're just giving away a free kick. Just giving away a free kick. Quite a dangerous area here. Leipzig could get something going. 36 yards out. Head that away, Godfrey. Go on, win the header. Deli Alli should win that. Here we go, Van der Beek. Let's get running. Let's get running. Alan. Why is Alan our furthest player forward? Go on, Alan. Go on, Alan. Go on, Alan. Go on. Make it 2 1. Oh, it's a good save. It's a good stop. It's a good stop. Again, why is Alan our furthest player at the pitch? I'll never understand that. Deli Alli whipped in. Good chance for a header. Oh, just put over the bar. Here we go, we need to win this, win this header. Godfrey again, head and shoulders above everyone else. Richarlison, go on Harrison, look at this again. This back three, Leipzig, we're really stretching it now and it's 2-1. There we go, we're in front in this game in the first half. Three goals. I think Leipzig got our first goal and we seem to have just switched on. We've had a couple of corners since then, no goals from there, but Richarlison now with the assist. Harrison getting better and better, getting better and better every single episode. 
Won't be long now before he's 84 rated. And there we go, in front. Look at this, so really outnumbering um, Leipzig in the midfield. That is how we're getting past them, and that is how we're gaining two goals in this game. But again, you've got to be careful here. Two strikers in a box is always going to be dangerous. And yellow card for Rafinha. Oh, earlier. Earlier challenge, yeah. I slid in, caught him, but ref played advantage. Two minutes added on. Just going to get this headed away. Van der Beek's up to you, and there he goes away, but not dealt with. Come on, send someone to him. Send, okay, okay. Okay, let's get the right people here. Come on, Paulson. Patterson. Good tackle. Good tackle, Rafinha. Maybe one last attempt. No. There we go, hard time. I don't mind that. 2 1 up again. Not happy we conceded first, but we got straight back in it. Van der Beek. Rafinha. Maybe look to get Richarlison on something here. Oh, go on. Win that header. Alan. Oh, my God. Here we go. Here we go, Van der Beek. Pass inside. Del Ali. The touch. The shot. Oh, wow. Okay. I thought the goalkeeper was easy saving that. Then when it went past him for a split second, I thought that's gone in. Again, to be honest, he could have really took that touch, just pushed himself forward a little bit more. But either way, not, it's not bad to have a chance. Chelsea then going ahead and replacing Rudiger with Kunde. Not a bad signing for them whatsoever. Rafinha, Richard. Do you see what happened to Rafinha then? Did you see that? Deli Ali. Actually, Deli Ali, go on. Go on, Deli Ali, go on. Oh, again. It it was either go out wide, cross it in, or find Richarlison, but I weren't too sure. He was sort of, you know, level with the defender. Did you guys just see what happened to Rafinha? <laughs> the header. Oh, okay. Goes wide. Okay. Leipzig getting forward quite well. Silver. Van der Beek. Um, let's get it out wide. Harrison. Dele Alli in the midfield. Richarlison over the top, maybe. Ball to run to. Chest that down. Oh, come on. What was ref playing advantage for them? What do we do? I, I don't understand. Oh, okay. Could be 2-2. Rudiger, what a tackle. What a tackle. Harrison, here we go. Another counter. Rafinha, looking at Rafinha. Maybe Richarlison. The ball is through. Just got... Oh, just tries to ball roll it away from the defender. Van der Beek lays it down. Rafinha inside. Deli Alli. Surely now. Surely it's 3-1. There we go. We get the third goal, which I feel like we fully deserve... Leipzig probably had the best opening 15 minutes, but after that, we've got back in control in this game. And I'm in front, 3-1. I feel a little bit more comfortable now and making some changes. I was going to bring on Damari Gray for Rafinha because I didn't want to risk the red card. And you can see here again, Dele Alli getting so much space in front of that back three that um, he's getting chances like that. Okay, so looking at the team right now, what I'm going to do is actually Makoko. Let's get him on. Let's give him some game time in this. Why not? Damari Gray, let's get him on. I would bring him on for Harrison. But I don't want to risk this as a red card. So we're going to get him on there. We're going to get him on there. And if anything, I can bring Gordon on for Harrison. Might bring Gordon on for Deli Alli. We'll see. But them two changes for now. We're 3-1 up. Let's see how we do. Angelino doing so well out wide. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. What's going on? Oh, what, what What was that about? What was that about? Trying to play it long. Oh, Makoko. Actually, go on. Oh, okay. Never mind. Can't, can't win that. Leipzig again. Get a good tackle in Patterson. Antonia. Patterson, 72 rated. You just wouldn't believe it. Go on, Gray. Look at this. On the counter. Damari Gray. He's got all the space in the world to run into. Surely. Surely four. And he's four in this game. Leipzig been absolutely, absolutely smashed in this game. Damari Gray off the bench. Enough said. Enough said. That is his role in the team right now. That is his role. I feel a little bit bad because first season he did so well starting games. But now off the bench. Teams can't handle him. Teams can just not handle him. And it's now 4-1. 4-1. Okay, two minutes added on. Let's not let Leipzig just get another goal. Let's keep it at 4-1. And there we go. 4-1 win in our first Champions League game. Again, looking at that game on paper, you would have said, I would have said that Leipzig might have just edged it. But overall, we've absolutely smashed them. I've got to say that I'm really happy with the start in the Champions League that we have had on three points right now. Lokomotiv Moscow getting a win against Sporting. They won 2-0 in that game. Okay, quite convincing. But a 4-1 win against Leipzig again. Finished off this group, get an easy an opponent in the round of 16, and we're off to a good start. And Richardson then has completely developed plan from left wing back to striker. Now let's get him converted, and of course stays 86. But let's get him on. I'm trying to think, Richardson right now is shooting, could do with improving a little bit, passing. But again, he is a striker, so well, he did get an assist in the last game. Yeah, let's get him on. I think just poacher will do. Increase that shooting, get it even higher. And an even better player. And now to our next game, then we're going to sim this one, taking on Crystal Palace, who are in 18th place at the moment. So I haven't got off to a good start this season. We're giving a debut to Conor Gallagher. Chalabra's coming in. Gordon coming in. Basuma starting. Gray on the left. Yeah, quite a few changes to the side, but let's quick sim this. Away from home. Should be getting a win. Should be getting a win. And there we go. Gordon with a winning goal. 
Richarlison scoring early, of course, having an amazing season. Godfrey coming on, Makoko coming on, Patterson coming on centre back. Okay, must have had a change of formation, surely, but a good two on win. And our next game then is going to be the Carabao Cup, the first game in the competition this season. We're going to go with Gordon on the left, Nils and Kunku at left back. Just give him a go, try and get him 70 rated because, of course, he's our backup left back right now. So we could do improving him. Chalabra at centre back with Rudiger once again, Conor Gallagher in midfield once again. Here we go. Got to get a win here away from home. I'm sure we can. And here we go. Richarlison missing a penalty. Not like him. Dele Alli. Richarlison on the score sheet. Dele twice. Again, another really good game. And our next game, then we're going to sim another game here. Take it on Middlesbrough, of course. One of the newly promoted sides. Been a long time since I've seen Middlesbrough in the Premier League. Bramfway going to come in. Rudiger just wasn't ready and up for the game. Same with Chalibur, to be honest. So let's give Bramfway some game time. Not against that at all. Coleman's coming into the team. I can't believe he's now 74 rated. You know, Patterson will overtake him very soon. Damari Gray on the right. And yeah, let's quick sim this one. Going to give Callagher a rest as well. And only the 1-0. Okay, Harrison with a goal. Alan coming in. Makoko coming in. I was almost going to start Makoko, but I didn't. But uh, a good a good win all round. Okay, you guys can see right now, looking at Richarlison, he's made the news. He's on seven goals so far in the Premier League. And he's projected, if he carries on this, you know, form that he's in, 1.17 goals a game... He's projected to get 44 goals this season, so he'd absolutely smash the competition record. Can he do it? Yeah, for sure he can do it. And our next game then is going to be against Lokomotiv Moscow. Now, guys, this is going to be the final game we're going to see before we actually get back to playing some games. I'm going to start Gordon on the right in this one. Conor Gallagher will come in. Uh, Alan's going to come in as well. Chalaba, Rudiger at the back. Happy with the team. Let's quick sim this. Moscow obviously got a win in their first game. Here we go. And, okay, we start for a draw. Richardson with a goal, and they scored, you know, 34 minutes in. Not our best performance. Let's be honest, we could have done so much better. Not that game then in the Champions League. We do get awarded the Manager of the Month award in the Premier League, which again doesn't really get handed out that often in career mode. It really doesn't. You might win it maybe once or twice. For me anyway, you don't get handed it out that often. So it's great to win it. And it just shows how good of a start we've had to the season. Okay, then into our final game in today's episode. We're going to be taking on Newcastle, who you guys can see, they're not in the top eight at the moment. They're down, well, I say down, they're only in ninth place. It's not. It's only six games into the season. Two wins for them, three draws and a loss. We're taking them on next. See, Watford having a really good start to the season in fifth place. Same with Leeds. And uh, yeah, in second place right now. Level with games, you know, that we've won and drawn with City. So... Who are City playing? Let's have a see. City are taking on... Are they taking on Brentford or have they got another game before? No. Okay, they're taking on Brentford who are down in 16th place. So expect City to get a win. We've got a win. We've got to stay level with them. And here is then how the two teams are going to line up for this one. For us, we're going to go with our main start 11. Again, Basuma is now 83 rated. As I said, he's going to play the majority of the games this season. Same goes for Chalaber, to be honest. He's now got good sharpness in him. 28. He doesn't no longer have the minus 3, which is good. Alan, again, we're playing... I want to say important games, but will start dropping his game time a little bit here and there. Basuma will play some Champions League games as well. So a good team into team. Let's get into it right now. Arsenal, not an easy one. Remember, our final game of the season, season one, we got a 1-0 win. Very, very lucky to get the win. So let's get into it. There we go. Malenko, okay. Unable to head that one away. Rudiger able to clear it up in the back. Let's go. Basuma, look at that pace in midfield. That is one thing that Alan is starting to lack, the pace. Van der Beek into Richarlison, lays that off, Deli Alli, just can't get his shot away in the end. Again, we need high tempo, we need to get a win. Another game at home, another win at home would be re really nice. Okay, 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 Aubameyang, Aubameyang, Martinelli, Patterson with a block. Here we go, let's go, Deli Alli, Deli Alli, over the top, Richarlison making a run. Richarlison, no, no, why, why, why did I even think he would get there before the ball got to Leno? I'll never know. Valverde, cross coming in. Patterson able to head that away. Let's go. Rafinha right now. We need to use some of this pace that he's got. Let's send him running. Richarlison can send a pass out wide. Look at the pace. Look at the pace. Look at this. Rafinha finished that. And it's 1-0. There we go. It's 1-0 in this game. We take the lead against Arsenal. Rafinha with that pace down the right-hand side. I'm just going to remember now to cut in. Because, of course, well, he's got a four-star weak foot, to be fair. Crossing with his right foot won't be too bad. But we're just going to make sure to cut in. And there we go. Just getting it past Leno. And that's his first goal of the season. Hoping he gets many more. That was a good pass inside. Good pass inside. Odegaard. Patterson. Patterson. Okay, there we go. I think we did a fake shot in there. I don't know why. Van der Beek. Rafinha again, maybe. Who's actually playing? Martin, um, Kieran Turney playing left back, of course. Trip that in. Oh, okay. No one able to get on the end of that. Okay. Could be a problem. Pickford with a save. Pickford with a save. 
You know what, guys? I don't feel like I've said that as often this season so far. Now, of course, only a couple of games in. But I think now with Rudiger coming in, I don't feel like I'm saying that often. Oh, Pickford, what a save. What a save. What a save. Should have saved that. Opposition don't seem to be getting that many chances now. now. I think that's all down to not just Rudiger, but also Godfrey getting better as well. Here we go, Harrison. Send him running. Send him running. Richardson. I don't think I can get that to him. I don't think I can. It's going to hold this. Um, maybe the pass inside. Richardson. Van der Beek. Okay, never mind. Patterson. Go on. I can see the pass on. I can see the pass on. Richardson. Shot blocked. Here we go. Corner whips in. Harrison. Looking good. The header. Something. Richardson. I was trying to change players as quick as I could to try and get a header on that. Oh, God. We can win that. Oh, okay, never mind. No one near it in the end. Again, 1 0 up here against Arsenal at home. Should be seen out a win. I think what we do now, get into half time. Obviously, try and make it two before half time. Patterson cutting that one out. Try and make it two before half time. If we can get to the second half, then just focus a little bit more on keeping possession and having some quality chances. Patterson, maybe. Oh, support free ball. Malenko winning the ball back. I can see Richarlison. Try and find him, actually. Try and find him. Turn him. Oh, again, just had to get that turn around. Um, Harrison, by the way, is lacking a little bit of fitness. I don't know why. I, maybe get a game too many this week. I'm not too sure. Might bring Gordon on or Gray on quite early on in this game. Keep that fresh pace, you know. Okay, ball over top. Abamyang going to get this dealt with. Godfrey. Okay, what? What? What even happened there? I thought we, I'm sure we had control of the ball there for a second. Godfrey. Uh, Patterson. Can always rely on Patterson. It, same goes for Godfrey, to be honest, but you can always rely on him. Rafinha. Try and send that. Dele Alli. Send that again. Oh, again. Saliba. It's, it's great positioning, really. Yeah, and you guys can see then Harrison right now lacking fitness. So let's go ahead right now and get Damari Gray on. And then, you know what? I'm quite happy with that. Richardson, again, could do a little bit of a rest as well, playing almost every game at the moment. But let's just go with that change. And we need that 2 0, really. Okay, Arsenal stepping up. Arsenal stepping up right now. Valverde, Malenko. Come on, you can have him. Oh, there we go. Up to Damari Gray. Damari Gray off the bench always causes teams problems. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, team problems. But uh, not, not if we can't get a ball to him. Dead Ali. Damari Gray. Actually, just go on. Gray, just take this yourself. Go on. Go on, Gray. Finish that. Go on, Gray. Not bad. Not bad from Damari Gray. Ramsdale with a save. Let's get this one whipped in. Rafinha on the corner. Rudiger maybe... Go on, Basuma. Okay, just can't get a header going. Damari Gray wins the header. Rudiger, maybe a little chip back over. Something on that. Nothing. Just got to win this. Just got to win this. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Damari Gray again. The pace. Go on. Get running. Get running. Maybe back inside. Back inside. Uh, pass is on. Richardson. Yeah, he's never getting out of there, is he? Look at that. Two defenders on him. That's how many defenders you've got to get to stop him. Right now, though, it's only 1-0. We've got to keep this win. We've got to keep the three points. Abamyang's still on the pitch. Malenko, got a bit of work to do, but it does get it clear. Valverde, Abamyang, Partey with a strike. It's one of them strikes where you, you feel like it's just going to go in. He's got given that much time. And Pickford, as I mentioned, you know, I didn't think, I didn't feel like he was getting, you know, having to do that much work in games. He's had to do a little bit of work in this one, not going to lie. Gordon, here we go, Gray. Go on, Gray. Got Makoko up, up front. He's on for Richardson. Try and find him with a pass. Oh, yeah. Again, it's, it's not good enough. But there we go. In the full-time whistle in this one, we get a 1-0 win against Arsenal. And again, same scoreline as we had at the end of last season. But more than happy. More than happy with the three points. Is That was it. That was the main job. And even though we got the win then against Arsenal, Man City, as we probably all predicted, got a win in their game against Brentford. The scoreline, 3-0. So again, a convincing win for them. So we're still top of the table, level with them. But of course, Man City have got a better goal difference. Just going to go ahead then and just sim a few more games in today's episode. We've got Burnley coming up next, Chalaber and Anthony Gordon coming into the side. Let's quick sim this. Difficult away from home and, okay, maybe not, maybe not difficult. Van der Beek, Rafinha, Dalali all on the score sheet. And the next one, Sim then, we're going to take it on Sporting in the Champions League. Now, I'm not going to make any changes to the side because we needed a win in this. We definitely need a win. Here we go, quick Sim in. Please, a win. Please, a win away from home. And there we go, 3-0. Dalali hat-trick maybe? No, Van der Beek, Dalali both on the score sheet and some good subs being made. Now, here we go then. I think this is going to be our final Sim game in today's episode. Watford, again, we've got Chalabra coming in. We've got Alan Callagher coming into the team. Tomorrow, Gray coming in. Here we go. Come on. Can we finish off with a win? Can we finish off with a win? Close one. Really close to Catalaire, who was playing for West Ham last season. I think so. Yeah, I think, I think I'm thinking of the right career mode. Yeah. Uh, no, Gray, Harrison and Richarlison all on the score sheet. And here we go then. After them couple of sim games, we are now top of the table. Two points clear of Man City. They got a draw somewhere along the way. Not too sure who they drew against. Um, I can't I can't imagine who they would have drawn against. I guess it's somewhere here. Okay, Spurs. 
The drew against Spurs, of course, we haven't really played any team like Spurs. Obviously, we opened the season with Liverpool. We've still got games against United, Chelsea, Spurs, City, you know, all them sort of teams coming up. That is where we could, you know, get our first defeat or two. But right now, top of the table, happy with that. But anyway, guys, going to leave it there for today's episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Again, been a really good episode for results. Two games played. Conor Gallagher signing him into the team. Costing us, what, 27 million, 27 and a half million bringing him in. Still got loads of money in the transfer budget right now. 153 million. There you go. After, you know, a couple of sales and whatnot. And obviously games in the Champions League and all that sort of stuff. So loads of money to spend. I'm going to look at the team over these next couple of months right now. See where it needs improvement. Dele Alli going up in overall, but I didn't think he would. Damari Gray going up to 82, I noticed as well and yeah overall the team is going in the right direction but anyway guys if you enjoy it let me know drop a like down below hit the subscribe button and i'll catch you guys in the next one